Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. We uh, have some fun little tool review type of thing going on. Uh, I went and washed our RV yesterday and noticed that it was looking a little bit dingy and dull. So I want to go ahead and wax it and waxing the RV is not something that I want to go ahead and do by hand by any means. That would be a terrible, terrible, terrible choice. So we went ahead and went over to Harbor Freight, picked up a waxing polisher thing, and uh, we're going to try it out, see what it's like. Uh, it's by that uh, Bauer brand, and I really, really like their uh, stuff so far. And so I went ahead and went with them, and uh, we'll see how it does. There is, there is a box that it comes in. You can see, that's what we're dealing with. And we're going to go ahead and pop this open. This comes with a 90 day warranty, like most of their crap. And I'm just going to go ahead and hopefully not break it within the first 90 days. I want to keep this with the camper so that we can uh, keep on using it. So it is electric. That would have been awesome if it was battery powered, but it's not. It looks like a big angle grinder though and it's got the the side pieces or like the handle and obviously it's got instructions with it but we don't read the instructions most of the time there's some other parts and pieces in here those look like the brushes in case it gets burned out that's interesting So it's got uh, two of them, and I guess it, they'd go in here or in the side. Yeah, they'd probably, like, I don't know. We'd have to read the instructions to actually figure that part out. So we'll keep that with the box. And we'll keep all that with the box. And we'll screw this in here, because I'm right-handed, so I would hold on to this part with my left hand. And it does come with the uh, hook and loop right here just like a, uh, a sander and uh, so one thing I did have to buy extra that it did not come with is this foam pad and this is for a finishing foam pad I'm not a detail expert but this one says uh, use with waxes and sealants so it has no swirl finish so we're gonna go ahead and plop this on there I already bought some wax from McGuire's, I think, and uh, we're just going to try that out and see if we can get that dull, dingy look to uh, disappear. So let me get you guys outside and get it set up because I need a uh, an extension cord too. So. There it is. Oh, it already stuck here. So I'll put this down on the ground and plop this right over top of it. There we go. So that was probably not a good idea to do it here in the shop. Put it on the floor with all the grass and everything. All right, let's get outside. All right, guys, it's a little bit windy out here, so we're going to try to do our best with talking and everything, but this is it. I got it plugged in. It has a speed control setting on the back. So we're gonna probably start off kind of slow. Just to see what it's gonna do. So let's go throw some wax up on there and see what it's gonna happen. All right, so we got, it's mother's wax, California gold. And we're just gonna put some on here like I said I'm not an expert on this by any means so we're just gonna do that much and see what happens this is all a big learning curve and just trying out the tool and seeing what's gonna happen so we've got it already all washed 
and I did up here by hand already but uh I, I can't do any of it all of it so it's got like a little dingy bit of a look and uh, let's just see what's gonna happen so we want to make sure that it's flat on the surface and uh, you aren't using the edges so let's go ahead let's start it on one and see what's gonna happen So I got this section covered and I'm going to go ahead and get a rag so I can wipe it off as well. So we got this little microfiber rag. We're just going to be wiping it down and kind of getting all the wax off of here now. So I can uh, tell a difference right here where I stopped, where this is a little bit uh, lighter in color, maybe where the clear coat is coming, we're getting like a little bit destroyed from the sun, and this part isn't. I can see it on this side too. So we're gonna go ahead and try to work the whole entire front end cab area and just see what's gonna happen, see if this, bower tool will actually help kind of restore this stuff or if it was a uh, waste of money so let me get this done and we'll see what's going to happen Right, guys well we are done with just the front cab of this camper and i think it turned out really nice uh the wax has really helped i could definitely see a change in the difference between the waxed and unwaxed sections and the wax will help with the rain and everything beating off will be a lot easier to um, wash as well because the stuff won't stick on it so there it is there's a, a quick little tour view i really do like this uh, some of the things that um, I could see is that it was really loud. Excuse the hose. The, so the tool overall was really loud. Uh, I don't know if that is normal. But uh, as far as weight wise, it was very light. Uh, I could hang on to it with one hand with no issues. Uh, so you don't really even need that, that handle. Uh, but if you wanted to hold on to it with two hands, you can hold on to it down here and then one hand up in the front. Hanging on to it with less um, force actually worked a lot better than pushing on it by any means because then it would actually rotate instead of just sitting there vibrating. So overall, I really like it. I think this is a good investment, especially for such a big vehicle. I'm actually going to do one of my other cars that's about almost 15 years old and see if I can actually buff out 
the uh, paint job on it see if uh, anything can work with that so uh, let me know if you guys have one uh, what you guys think of it I really do like it it's a uh, very small it's not uh, big and overly big and bulky and that's what I saw with a couple of the buffers that I was looking at is that they were really round something like the seven ten inch ones and I don't really need something like that this little six inch one will do the job just fine for once twice a year or whatever I do to you know wax this camper uh, if you guys have any tips for waxing better with one of these things let me know uh, I've also found out that if you go a little bit slower it works a little bit better just moving it back and forth. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tool review and box opening and first try. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the section down below. Thanks for watching. If you guys are new, hit the subscribe button. Hope you guys have a uh, great week and we'll see you on the next video.